All right, all right. Let's get back to these serious topics here on continuing education. Like, for instance, right now, we've got to discuss the number sign that identifies as a hashtag. They're easy to miss if you're skimming the text in a hurry. We place them into the text as superscripts, they're called. That, you know, at the top, it's not the, the little numbers at the bottom, the number at the top, like a bookmark. You know, think about the bookmark, how it appears after a word and it helps us elaborate on a keyword, maybe reference where we got it from. Well, hashtags, we're using them, and just like you would in social media, we use them in front of the word, but they're small at the top, little like an exponent, okay? They're not there to provide any additional clarity like the bookmark is. They're there to make tested topics easy to search. That's it, just searchable. Now, you already might know some of the stuff I'm about to go over, but I got you trapped. This is a four hour course, so zip it. Here's the rundown. Number one, every web page comes with a PDF version, okay? Some of you are like, I'm on the PDF version. Obviously, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the people on the web page, right? So if you're on the insuranceschool.com and we're talking about this law and ethics, you want to go to law.theinsuranceschool.com, okay? Now, on that page, it has all the different episodes associated with the law and ethics. For you audiobook lovers, this is the iPower Moves podcast. If you're not watching us live, you know, you're basically listening to us right now, okay? Now, these episodes of the podcast, they're going to reflect other blog series and complement our live class segment, but the podcast episodes are similar to the live class, but different. I, I completely messed that up. All right, wait. Let's go back. For you audiobook lovers, you can catch what's on the live class in podcast format, okay? Now, the episodes on the podcast, they're like, they're similar to the live class segment, but I, I would call them same but different. How are they different? Well, the difference is how we recap all these tested topics. We use slightly different stories, different examples. We made little changes so that way you're not jumping out of one course and hearing me deliver the same exact story and example in another version. So, you know, the live course, the podcast, and the blogs do, sl do differ slightly there, okay? Now, the only people who can't use the next shortcuts that I'm about to explain to you are the ones that chose to get the stone NAFA tablets, you know, the, the manual, <laughs> the, the state exam manual, because, you know, they, they've got their own, just look it up, man. It's, it's not my job. I didn't write that book. I'm not responsible for anything that they did. That's all I got to say about that. But if you're working in Word and you decide to take the good content that I gave you and you're working on a non-Apple computer because you just like coffee and you're not into lattes and all those other things, just hold down the control button on your keyboard and simultaneously hit the, the F, the letter F, Okay. Um, now, if you are one of those latte people, you know, no, I'm not throwing any shade. I got David here. David's one of those latte drinking millennials, all right? And he's packing the Mac, so he's got to hit command and then hit the F, all right? So all us normal people, we hit control F. The Mac people are using command F. When the search bar, when you do that, a search bar is going to pop up, but it's going to pop up like on the left. Probably in the Mac, they're going to pop it up on the right because they got to be different. But... Anyway, the search bar is going to pop up and in the, whatever you typed in there that you're looking for in that control F, it's going to be everywhere. Okay. It's going to be right on the side and it's going to identify exactly where all those keywords are. This feature works on almost all type of document formats. If you've never used it before, can you please just try it now? Begin by searching the hashtag. Okay. Hashtags need attention. Okay. That's why they... They're, they hear, they want the attention. You're gonna be directed to every tested keyword and topic in the section. So remember, you're packing the Mac, hit Command, hit F, it's gonna bring up the search bar, put in the hashtag, hit search, and it's gonna bring you to every single tested topic in this section. You're welcome. Why? Because I just made licensing NCE easy, fam. Now. I know what some of you are thinking. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Jay, are we there yet? How much longer do we have? Well, if that's how you feel, 
I understand. I understand because I do need to tell you where we're going with the course. I'd be a terrible tour guide if I led you on this four hour excursion into the Florida insurance Everglades without a map. Right. So I'm going to get to this roadmap shortly. But right now I got questions like, do you like current events? You know, it's like think about it. it's like we're on a first date right now and right? I need to get to know you. You need to get to know me. What do you expect from me? You know, I'm not going to try anything weird, even though I came out talking about eggplants and goats and things like that. I'm going to keep it easy. But anyway, on social media, I do follow a couple of different local news pages, you know, since we are talking about, you know, current events and stuff. And, and, and you know, I probably do follow a few questionable pages also, but we're talking about local news, okay, and relevant stuff. Um, I like to know what's going on. What are the locals reporting? Current events. They're easy to talk about. I don't want to talk about a traffic accident that I heard about in California. I'm going to talk about I-4 news, things like that. Like, for instance, did you know that last year in Boca Raton alone, the DFS investigators uncovered nearly $100 million in fraud just between two clinics? You know where I heard about the arrest from? The CFO press releases. You can find them by searching news you can use on the CFO website. I, I swear to you, seriously, the section is actually called news you can use. And the reason I like that is because I swear every non-producing agent I come across be like, oh, CE doesn't teach you anything. Pre-licensing doesn't teach you anything. No, you just didn't learn how to use it because news you can use, little articles like the Salty Crime Family. I got another article that we're going to share with you when we jump into the CFO about another clinic, uh, some more insurance fraud, but it was from a clinic standpoint, you know? So with news you can use, think about LinkedIn. LinkedIn's all about connecting with people. Only some people have an insurance license on LinkedIn. Couldn't you be sharing some of these stories with people that you know, identify as Orlando locals, hashtag the Florida man, Jay Perez, you know, we like local news. So uh, now with that, in these, in the sharing, that's a little tidbit, I kind of foreshadowed because we do have to talk about marketing and advertising and there's news you can use. Yeah, I, I, I do a lot of communicating with people using DFS and chief financial officer resources. Okay. So, uh, So think about it this way. If somebody was looking for information about insurance, do you think they're calling one of us directly? When was the last time you're like, oh, I have a quick question about insurance. Let me call my agent. No, you're going to articles. You're going to, you know, you're going to somewhere where you feel like the information can be trusted. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you think if I was your agent, and I sent you information that was not branded to a specific company or anything like that, that helped you understand from a consumer standpoint what you should do next? Do you think you might gain a little bit of trust in me and jump into the next step with me since I'm laying it out to you, I'm, I'm telling you what you should know to be an informed consumer? That's what you got over here with the CFO and the, chief, uh, and the My Florida CFO website. So. Moving on, I just want to let you guys know, I did not choose any of the topics that we're covering in this course. All of the other courses that we have, I chose. Like if we're talking about regular continuing education, that's not the required for our law and ethics course. Obviously, that's a test question, right, if I brought it up again. But in the other CEs, like for instance, uh, we have a great CE if you were selling life insurance on Index Universal Life. Why do we build a CE on that? Because people don't understand a good portion of the products out there and it's our job to spark a good conversation. Now, regardless of how crazy some of our conversations feel, uh, feel I should say, right? Because, you know, I think they sound normal, but when it, things leave my mouth, it might make you feel a little weird. <laughs> it's kind of like old 45, right? That's how everybody felt like, it was, anyway, we won't talk about that. But, all the topics that we're going to discuss have been identified by the, the Chief Financial Officer's Department of Financial Services. I didn't choose any of them. So if you're asking why does the DFS want me to go over all of this pre-licensing information again, it's because ignorance is not a defense and they want to make sure that when they come and prosecute you for doing little, you know, Florida man type things, 
You don't try to say you didn't know. So let's move on to this roadmap. 10 minutes, eight seconds, that's not bad.